Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Katie, Charlie, and I'm here today, guys, with my newest addition, my little one, my little small girl or tiny girl almost. She's so tiny, guys. I, I mean, she is not really a preemie. I would say she's a smaller newborn. But yeah, this is my baby Evie. She is Evie by Lorelei Eagles. She is a prototype number three done by amazing Spanish Ayora master artist and prototype artist Alicia Rodriguez. And I, oh my gosh, I love, love her work. She's the, uh, in like top three of my favorite artists. And also, you know how I feel about Laura's sculpting. So this baby is a dream come true for me because you know how it is when you have a uh, special artist you're following them and I have been following Alicia since, oh my goodness, a very, very long time. And I knew from the moment I saw her babies that she was, she was super uber talented. Plus she's very kind. She is the sweetest human being. And, and this whole process of waiting on this baby, she was, Oh my gosh, she was trying to make it easy on me, showing me VIPs, and she was also, she sent me feel like these little short videos of the baby. So it was really, really considering that I was waiting, it was really pleasant. And this baby absolutely she exceeded all of my expectations. She's amazing. This baby is absolutely amazing. So, anyways, guys, I have a few videos planned. I also have to edit few because I have some videos ready, but I wanted to do this in chronological order since I opened her and I had few requests of ladies wanting to see how Alicia did her front body plate. So I'm going to show you now and her details and then I can do my uh, Halloween meetups, my Halloween parade with Charlie and also I have few topics that I want to talk about. So, yeah, guys, uh, I'm sorry. That's my washer, guys. It's Friday. I'm trying to do some laundry here. So, anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Let me have a coffee. Hopefully, you ladies and gentlemen had a wonderful week. Not as crazy as myself. But I'm ready for a weekend. I'm ready. I need to decorate in front of the house. I don't know. Are you all, I love Halloween. I have all of my Halloween decorations, but I still need to clean the leaves and I need to get myself the, those corn stalks. I want to put them in front because I, I'm doing the new theme in front of my house this Halloween. I'm not doing the cemetery anymore. I'm going to do a scarecrow. So I need corn stalks and I don't want to use my Toyota my car for that i want to use one of our pickup trucks so because those are messy i don't even know how i would hold them home they're like tall so i may just unleash mike to do it so anyways i'm going to show you her details and her front body plate this is not a belly plate this is a front body plate that means that uh the whole front side of her body is, <laughs> look at that, she is so, oh goodness, I did some pictures like this, she looks like a real baby guy, seriously, with this little, and uh, yeah, she has a newborn sized uh, diaper, a bigger diaper, I ordered a bigger size, and it's, I will have to use probably the same size that I'm using on my Isabella, but look at that guys, I'll just you like this look at this little front plate on this baby and there is a belly button and of course this is a doll this is not a real baby but i wanted to uh to all new collectors and uh new ladies who just started who uh this is a reborn baby doll she's uh she has a cloth body but uh a lot of scalps, most of Lorelei Eagles scalps, they come either with torso or the front body plate. It goes kind of like around, guys. So even from the side view, she could pass like, see, 
it starts just like here, the cloth body. So it goes beautifully. This one is really like wrapped around her a cloth body. And it goes all the way up. So she even has a chest. Then I know that Bonnie Brown's uh, Twin A and Twin B, they came with a belly plate, which is shorter version of this. It's probably like this big and it's for, uh, for picture purposes too. But I really like this one because it's, it gives you more options. And look, look at that. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm by my big garden window. Not garden window. What, what is wrong with me? Picture window. <laughs> but you can see like her vein going down here and a lot of mottling. You know, cameras are absolutely uh, hopeless in capturing all the detail, but she she's amazing. And uh, as I said, she's Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. Uh, she's a prototype, that's why she's here, like home, because her kit was just released on pre-order. So she's, uh, for all of you ladies who love this kit, uh, it has been, the pre-orders pre already started, but... Um, yeah, she's 18 inches. I will probably have to do a comparison because I am curious. I myself am curious. How is she size-wise compared to Birdie? By Laura as well. Oh my goodness, she's so cute, guys. I, I can't with her. Okay, so let me show you her back. And I'll change her into a sleeper. Oh my goodness. And I'm using that satin pillowcase as Inez recommended. And I'm really liking it, guys. Really, really liking it. I had it at see how it stays because normally her hair would be kind of funky by now. I don't know if this is Susan Nagel or which uh, mohar is this. I need to ask Alicia. <laughs> Look at it. I'm not using anything, just a baby brush. I have the brush that Alicia sent with her as well, this one, which I will use for fine detailing when I'm taking the pictures. But uh, yeah, guys, so this is how the front body plate looks like. I didn't tie it, but I will turn her around. But this would be if I tied it really like strongly this what it she would look like this which gives you a lot more options or many more options um, when you're taking pictures of course she's not a full body silicone but it's better than having a cloth body so if you have a little tank top you can kind of like camouflage uh, these parts so let me turn her around guys so you see, and this is how Alicia did that, see? She drilled the holes at the top of the uh, front plate in a middle section and down here. Let me put this baby down a little bit. And I didn't tie it so I could kind of like show you. This one, she fastened like this. You can probably like tie it closer. I didn't because I don't want to mess with it on camera. It would take me forever. Uh, and I don't want it too tight when taking it over her head it's because of her hair. But you can tie it up here. And here down you know what I'll do it just to demonstrate because I want to see myself okay guys so I tied it and this is how it looks I even pulled the middle one more like together so the whole body plate would hug the front of her 
cloth body. So this is how it looks like, guys. If you untie these, you don't have to pull anything over her head. It's just like wrap around thing and these are satiny, which is a great idea, guys, because they're re really easy uh, to untie. It's really easy to untie these. You know, sometimes you make all these knots and it's, uh, it's so hard to untie later on but these I really like fasten them and they're like untying by itself so it's not going to be horrendous to take her out of this so let me turn her around and this is how it looks again as I said this is a front body plate option oh my gosh goodness and she wasn't laying on that setting see So yes, this is how it looks and it's super nice. Now you have to, if you're taking the pictures, of course, you will have to fiddle a little bit with the front plate to kind of like hide this cloth body part. But you get, you get the idea, guys. And as I said, these uh, front plates uh, that Laura put on her babies, they Okay, guys, I apologize. I had a phone call. Where was I? So I was just saying how I really like how Laura makes these front body plates to go all around and behind. Kind of like it wraps all around the cloth body. Almost like, well, I would say three quarters of her is covered in torso. So that gives you really nice options with pictures, guys. This poor baby but the, of course you would have to fiddle with the torso around the arms but i think most of us we put little like tops on the babies when they're taking the picture because it's all about uh, like chubby belly at least for like me or and a lot of collectors that i follow i wasn't really into these plates i didn't even like uh, the torso on my other scalps i have <clears throat> i had well, I still have my a little Esme. I had two of them. Now I have the third blank kit. And Esme sculpt, it comes with the whole torso. You have to take the doll apart. If you're going to put the torso on or if you want to take the torso off. Same with Atticus. Um, versus other Laura sculpts, uh, like newer one. And also I know that Quinlan uh, comes and Serenity and also Miracle. They all came with front body plates, but I really find this plate being more like this. It's like hugging the body more. So you can't really see like behind the corner as, as they say. You know what I mean, guys? So e even if she's like laying like slightly like turned, you can get away with this pose if she's wearing something on the top. See? So that's like really, I love this, I, I just love this idea and I prefer these torsos because who wants to take apart the baby constantly, right? So I'm uh, going to actually dress her. I'll, I'll probably take this off. Let me uh, kind of like untie the ties and everything. I don't want to take a long time and, you know, to keep you watching me untying the... Uh, not so i will be right back okay guys i'm back so front body plate is off i also forgot that my tobaya has one my karolinka so i will have to <laughs> put it on her i haven't tried that one and i actually may have mike uh, to you know to drill me and these holes so once again, this is how it looks. And it's absolutely an awesome idea, guys. And as I said, I wasn't really a huge fan of so-called like torsos and body plates. I, I never used them before my birdie. And then I got Isabella and I started using them and it's so cute, guys, and so very realistic when you're doing like photo shoot. It's not exactly the best uh, feature when you're cuddling your baby, but it's, this is why it's so awesome then. Because 
you can take the pictures and then you can easily just take it off and get some cuddle time. I'm going to put this little thing. Uh, this is uh, Lara Jinha. That's my favorite brand. I have a lot of pieces of it and I got this, this one. This is a newborn and uh, I don't know, this is the old man's. So let me try this on her. Well, if it's a little bit loose, that's okay. You don't want very... <laughs> I should have probably put some socks on her feet. That would hold the leg part of this sleeper on better. But you know what? I'll probably change her anyways a few times today, just uh, having fun with her. So I just love this little ducky. I don't know, this, this actually, is this a duck or a goose? I don't know. It's so cute though. But what was I saying? I am all over the place, guys. So yeah, I was saying that I will probably change her anyways a few times today because it's a baby time. And I have, so I got something, guys, that I'm so super excited to show you. Jacqueline made it. And so that's coming in my next video. I wanted to put one of those little outfits on her today, but that would kind of uh, give away my whole new content for my uh, next video. So I, I want to show everything and that it would be just all mixed up, uh, the details and the front plate thing and my Halloween meetup. So yeah, but I can't just wait. I can't wait to put that piece on her. And she looks super sweet in this. Oh my goodness. Look at you. And I completely forgot to update you guys on uh, the name. I keep calling her Evie. But I don't know uh, how I feel about your baby having the scalp name. I also was pondering name Elena with European pronunciation since uh, she came from Spain and I think Elena is really nice um, name with a nice zinc to it or maybe Elenka oh, she's so cute oh my gosh so yeah Lara Jinga one oh, not one zero month really fits her not totally perfectly, but yeah, she can get away with it because she's a cutie patootie anyways. And does she need a little thing? Oops. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Maybe later. This is like a little pin. This is a very nice idea. So anyways, <coughs> aunties and uncles, she is all ready. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions uh, when it comes to body plates, uh, front plates, belly plates, all the shebang, don't hesitate to ask me down in the questions, guys. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for coming back. I want to thank all of you for wonderful and kind and welcoming comments. Uh, on my box opening video, I, I I kept reading them like over and over and over again. I couldn't respond because I was driving uh, the whole day yesterday and I was at the office uh, also. But uh, I will try to respond to everyone so far, I think, earlier this morning. So anyways, guys, again, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Please stick around because, I, as I said, I have a lot of surprises coming. I have uh, some really fun videos and also uh, some topic videos that I wanted to talk about. There is something that has been uh, on my mind and on my heart, so I would like to talk about it, but that's uh, late for later this weekend. I, I, I want to just enjoy this one and not to think about anything. <laughs> yeah, we need some bonding time because she has been all alone. Mama's been working. <laughs> Look at this scrunchy baby. Oh my goodness. So guys, thanks again. Uh, I will see you this weekend. Have a wonderful Friday.
Friday, stay safe because Friday traffic is crazy, at least here in Chicago. And I will see you later. Till the next time, bye.